Good afternoon, people. He who dares wins, isn't it? Definitely. So I had my tag. <laughs> she keeps laughing. I should really cut it off, shouldn't I? But it's all part of the all part of the image, you know. I mean, what idiot on YouTube is gonna do a, a clear review in this? Who knows? Staff, people, staff, little. I won't go outside and let's <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> Feel safe in the own bar. Anyway, as you've seen from the front now, it's a little bit of a face off. Um, been a, I'm a, we're, we're blade owners again. Yeah. Orchard Pig. I've really enjoyed that on the Perfect Draft. Um, I did have the fur on one of these, and we've actually got the glass. Look at this one. Go and see one of these very often. Look at that. That is El Sp Sp the Spanish one. Ah, you see, basically Spanish one of Orchard Thieves. So, limited edition glass there. We're not going to use that as it's Euro time. We're going to use these two Euro glasses. As I say, um, it's Orchard Thieves versus Orchard Pig. Perfect draft versus Blade. And I've been told that Orchard Thieves is not so sweet now as the Atho Rafa, if you call it, which is the one we had before, which wasn't a bad cider when I think back, remember it's two odd years ago, mm. the one you could go at eight o'clock in the morning if you remember, <laughs> if you remember Connor was here. Yes I do remember. And we had a little, yeah. but it was one I found that after a couple it was way too sweet wasn't it? I'm told that one's somewhat not, not so as sweet, sweet but then that's listening to a certain Welshman that probably end up regretting it tonight. But you don't know, if you don't try you don't know. Um, do you want to pour the perfect draft while I pour the blade, or should I just go and oh, do both? I'll give it a go. Well, it doesn't matter, you can sit and talk to the camera, otherwise the camera's got no one. That is true. Yeah, go on, Bob, man. Where'd you go? <laughs> go, on. go to the porn. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say anything about me because I can hear you. I won't turn the camera around because the blades are right down the bottom. The perfect draft's there, it's pretty obvious we're putting what we say in it. Um, the perfect draft, as you can see there, is running at zero. So there will be a two degrees difference if the perfect draft's really on zero. Because, you know, sometimes in machines, this could be colder than that. Who knows? It's a possibility. So this is going to be at two, which is a great thing. Using them, and I'm really impressed with these, isn't it? We've yeah. used the other two, but we haven't used these. I should be inside. No, this will do. Right, I'll go and pour this one. Remember, it's first one off, but it is cider, isn't it? And he complains that I waffle. Mm. I'm wondering what he's going to make a pull, but being cider, like he says, it shouldn't be too difficult. It's an apple cider. How are you finding it? What? Pouring good. Yep, yeah, it's looking good, people. For the first pint as well. I the cider's not meant to be, I, I chugged that back, she probably heard. Yeah. So there's your orchard. <laughs> yeah, orchard thieves. Yeah. So we'll do. Blade on the right, perfect yeah. draft on the left. I don't want to get it wrong, I'll be on it or I'll be called a lot of things again. Or are you going to tell the difference with the colour, I reckon, straight away? Yeah, from what I can see so far, the blade one's looking a little bit darker. Yep, that's exactly what I thought. So you're not silly as you look. So there you go. Well, there isn't that much in it, actually. Not as much as you're the same. No. Slightly lighter, but there isn't a lot in it. Brand new glasses, just clean. That, probably because it's been poured later, looks somewhat more bubbles, doesn't it? But, okay, let's go for a smell. It's a, it's a cider, you know, they're not meant to be lively, people forget that. They've both got bubbles coming up, and they both look pretty much the yeah, same. Yeah, you, you really are smelling your apple in there, maybe the hint of the lime. You shouldn't get lime with that one. Well, you never know. Okay, that one smells a little bit more like apples that are um, fermenting a little bit. I thought it was going to say rotten. The last drink that smelled with rotten apples tasted nice. Being this, no, it's gone, isn't it? It's definitely good. And I'll tell you what, because every bit is cold. Yeah. I feel the same temperature. I don't think, that one. Yeah. So, you never trust these temperature controls. Yeah, for me, this has got <clears> more <throat> of that apple candy kind of smell. 
they, they do <coughs> they do smell relatively similar though, don't they? Yeah, no, this this for me has really got that ripened apple kind of smell to it. Mm, Whereas that one's more like an apple candy. The 20 degrees here today, it is the sort of day for the weather for me. Okay, start with this one. Yep, so we're starting with the Orchard Pig, Orchard Pig on the Perfect Draft Pro. Perfect Draft Pro with temperature control sometimes in a way. Mm. I do like that. But it gets away a bit with me because of the hint of lime. Yeah. It's meant to be medium dry, but it's more medium. Yeah, for and me this is this is more of a medium side. The first initial taste that you're getting in your mouth is sort of a candy apple kind of taste. Um, it's nice, but... It's balanced out by it's got that slight lime kind of hit to it and quite a dry finish. Yeah, if it didn't have that... It'd be too sweet. It'd be too sweet because as it's running through your mouth and the flavour is running through, it's nice, but it's sweet. It'd only be a one or two drink, whereas so I've done quite a few of them, isn't it? Okay, so I am going to go back to the original aromas. What's holding this one up, like we said before, the lime, the dry finish on it, it'd be way too sweet for me otherwise. Now I have to give this one its due. It has got a slightly, a feeling of a bit more full body to it. Um, it doesn't feel quite so light or, or, or thin as this one. Um, you have got your apples there. But they're not overly sickly sweet, they taste quite natural, and it has got quite a dry finish. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think how to counteract that. They're not very biased to the perfect draft, as everyone says, but that's totally different to the AFL wrapper that we had, as I say. It was somewhat two odd years ago now, which we did struggle. Um, I wouldn't see that as a struggle. Like I don't see that as a struggle. That is somewhat sweeter sometimes. I do like that. The thing is, I mean, remember, you're not a cider fan. It's from your own admission. You're not a big cider drinker anymore. You used, used to, to love it back in the day. Nowadays, not so much. But these two, these two, you could. Oh God, you could. You could session this down just like you could that which I have done that mm. but it does it it has a lovely sweetness but it's properly balanced off and I'll give it to Gareth I wouldn't normally but <coughs> he has hit the nail and I'm sure um, Laura or someone said the same thing yep it's um you get the tinge of lime yeah. with that one where you don't then, but the apples are probably not as sweet in the blade one as they are the perfect draft one. And for a cider that's meant to be medium dry, it does go off a bit, but it's saved with the lime and it is a, it's a great cider. It was one of my favourite kegs when it originally came out. I was like, whoa, that's what we've been screaming out for, for for many years. And I'd had that before, as I say, and I would never have entertained that had not a couple of people said, it's worth going for. Okay, not a massive cider drink, as Paul said. Um, out of the two <coughs> of them, I prefer the Blades offering on this occasion. <laughs> I don't know what to say here. Yeah. Maybe I'm not mates with Dixon. I'm not mates with anyone. <laughs> I'm basically stood here testing it the tea and being totally, totally <coughs> honest about what I'm tasting. If I was going to have a cider between the two of them, I'm going to go for this one on the blade because I'm finding them not quite so sweet. It, it, it doesn't feel as thin as the orchard pig for me. Um, orchard pig's more of a more of a daytime summer. I'm, I'm, what's the difference in um, ABV and this? I think they're both four point five. They're both exactly the same. I would have put this slightly higher 
that's why I'm asking him I just wanted to clarify it does feel like it's got a little bit more of a kick to it so it is it's one of those they are the same but to me that tastes like it's got yeah. a little bit more room to it but they are both they are both decent and for the summer <clears throat> I'd find it hard to choose to be honest so if I was going to choose one I'm going to have to go the other way on the perfect draft one because that hint of lime is giving it that edge at the end um, but flowing down as far as cider goes they both flow down you can argue you know oh yeah you get the same in the shops when we put the uh, one with obviously you can't get that exact one in the shop but when we put them together I don't know if it was last year or whatever there was a substantial difference in the cake yeah um, I, I think as ciders go these are quite a nice offering from both um, not overly sweet I find a lot of short bought ones can taste like um, just like it's got a bag of sugar in it or something I really dislike that really sweet taste but both of these are kind of a medium cider I just like yeah. the fact that this one is a little bit more a bit they, more body to it they kind of they kind of up their game haven't they uh, played with this one because mm. it was I say when we had it on import when it was called you say the same one that they bring over now and I thought obviously it's just the same so I wouldn't trust them or anything so yeah people that said that did get that right yeah, and that is I, I definitely agree that's I'd be quite happy to drink a, a couple of pints of that maybe only <coughs> one pint of them I could drink quite a few of both of them if I'm honest <laughs> but they're both a definite yes obviously Orchard Pig I've done a full review before um, with this rather than doing a full review of what you put it um, Let's side by side and, uh, and see what the two offerings are like. Yeah, um, well, there's a lot of similarities, um, as you can see, just by looking at them, and they're very close together. And they're both, as, as far as ciders go on the machines, they're both decent, which is what it's all about, isn't it? It is. You know, you could be buying Cruise Campbell or Budweiser. That's go. all I'm going to say. <laughs> right, what can I say? Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the football. Bonjour.